Hi everybody, hope you had a great Christmas and uh, hope you have a good new year as well. I don't know whether I'll get a video out, another video out from between now and new year apart from this one. So I'll say happy new year everybody now. And uh, yeah, let's crack on with the fly. So I've got in my vise a trout line. This is a W633 in a number 10. I love these hooks. One of me, well these are pretty much my only still water like trout hooks I use now. I use them all up to like a size, I believe 18. So they go all the way down, so these are pretty much all I use now for most of my flies on the still waters. But today we're tying a brandling worm. These are superb and uh, we'll crack on. So the thread I'm using is Glow Bright Floss. This is number four. Actually, looks, I don't know why I always seem to look pink. It must be something to do with a white balance on my camera. But anyway, we're going to start this Glow Bright Floss just behind the eye and take the thread down. Come in with your scissors and just trim off. Now we're going to be using some like Spamflex, this is the Bill McElroy and this is the um, Blood Red one I believe. So you don't, you can use any colour you want, I like the slightly darker ones like the Clarets or slightly darker reds rather than the bright reds for these Brandling Worms. It's my personal preference. You can use whatever red you want, you can use them in olive as well, they work well in olive. But anyway, what I do first, so I've cut off two strands there so I'm just going to tie these in at the head, just do like a relatively loose turnover, what I'm going to do is just do two turns and then I'm going to stretch the spam flex, so I need to sort out the front part anyway and while I'm down here I'm going to, use, going to cut off a little more just another length, just here, just cut it off and I'm also going to tie that in at the back where I just stopped now what you've got to do just run your thread back up. If you see your thread starting to get like slightly thinner, because I want like a relatively thick thread, just spin your bobbin and that'll flatten out all the twists in your thread. And then just keep winding your thread up the body. And then what I do is when I get up to here and then I just give them a little stretch keep wrapping round really simple fly this one and now I'm going to come in, this is like your rib piece just trim off your rib piece and I'm going to continue winding now up to my eye of the hook once I get to the eye of the hook I'm going to do a turn in front and now I can just take this thread back down Slight little lump there. And just basically do a full coverage on the body of your fly. Just so it looks nice and yeah, just basically just fully covered. And keep going back down. And then once I get to the head, I'm gonna do one turn in front. And now because I'm gonna rib this fly, I'm just gonna do a whip finish. Just just so me basically everything stays where it's supposed to be. Now take your rib piece and now start at the back and just rib up. I like my turns relatively close just with a slight gap in the middle. So just my preference. And then when I get to there I'm going to come in front. This is why you leave that little bit of gap in front. So do a turn over the top and then what I do now if I keep everything tight and then I just wind my thread over that, the uh, rib spam flex and that's it, that's secured in place. And I'll pull it tight, trim it off. I'm just going to spin my bobbin slightly. Now come in with your whip finish tool. So there's a six turn whip finish. Trim off your Excess thread. Now legs wise, these are quite long. I only like my legs maybe a couple of inches on these Brandon worms. Actually maybe like an inch and a half more than anything. Yeah, about an inch and a half. So I'm just trimming them down very slightly. So that's pretty much how I want them. 
as I said, I don't like my legs crazy long on these because I fish these really slow. I fish them usually on a floating line or a sink tip. Um, sometimes I do fish them on like um, a clear intermediate, but again, I fish them usually really slow with a slow figure of eight. And now, if I can find it, I had it right in front of me and as normally it disappears. I had my UV resin in front of me because I literally picked up the bottle and put it down so I would. There it is, it's right next to me because I'm being dumb. So I'm going to get some. This is the Gulf. Thinman resin. I'm just basically going to put some of this around the fly. I don't want crazy amounts, I'm just going to basically work it in. Just basically rub it in to all the grooves, rub it into the um, spam flex, and a flexi material, whatever you want to call it, up to you doesn't really matter what you, which you call it as long as you understand what you're talking about that's spot on I'm just going to quickly grab my dubbing needle again I'm just going to just work this around again with a dubbing needle Cause dubbing needle, sorry, dubbing needle you get a little bit more control Stick my dubbing needle away, grab your UV torch. You see how much this actually glows, it glows really bright as well, so it stands out quite well. And just set that UV resin. Once it's set, there we go. What I like to do is grab some varnish and then just because, just in case I basically miss any, like there's any slight holes, I like to just cover everything with varnish just to make sure I've not missed anything, and that'll increase your longevity of any fly. And there we go, and now all we need to do is leave that to set, which it will do, dry, whatever, and there is your brandling worm. So, thank you very much for watching the video. Um, please leave a like on the video, obviously it really helps the videos with the weird algorithms now, I don't know how they've changed or why they've changed, but yeah, please leave a like on the video, uh, it really helps my channel a lot, and uh, I will see you in 2021.